Good afternoon and welcome to a special rendition of Focus NC. You know, we've preempted today Cook in the Castle on an issue that I feel is very important. Um, in uh, recent conversations, there's been some question as we head through these troubled economic times that I incidentally might add are across the country. I'm going to move this microphone over a little closer so that you get a little bit better audio. Make no mistake when I say Newcastle is the greatest castle in the world. I mean that. We have a nice town. We have nice people. There is absolutely, positively, no doubt about it. Now, we've gotten smaller, as many other towns have. But the core group that's here, and last night I was at the St. Vitus Festival, and it was just great to see all those people that I saw down there. I have no doubt that I could go to New Wilmington or Laurel or back to my native union and see people and enjoy their company without fail. However, we have a little bit of an issue. And NCTV 45 at times feels it's necessary to read or state these editorials so that it becomes clear our mission and what we want to do to make this not just be the greatest castle in the world, not just maintain, as Lou Holtz said, but improve. Right now, we lack diversity. Now, I know in some hallowed halls, there are probably some people shaking and quaking because I've said this. But, you know, I've coached, and I've watched quite a bit of football and basketball. And one of the things you do when you coach and you're in a game situation, is you observe the other team. In this great economic game of life, we're being observed. And people from the outside that come in here to open a business or do business in Newcastle, the first thing they recognize and all the boards are made up of the same people. That creates a lack of diversity in a small town, and we are a small town. And also, it creates a situation where there isn't any kind of new life being shed. Some people that usually get a good idea don't get the wins that they need in life. And you know, everybody has to win sometime. If you didn't win every once in a while in Vegas or Atlantic City, nobody would go. Now, along with this lack of diversity, we come to a second problem. The second problem being, well, they say, look, we are going to take what these people, we'll make them volunteers, and then what they tell us, we'll do. That doesn't really work. 
A volunteer has to have a vested interest in what's going on with the situation. A volunteer isn't the person that decorates for the dance and then isn't invited to the party. Therefore, what happens is you receive these volunteers and they become hand-picked and then the board that's the same, that lacks the diversity, instead of there being something fresh, they just put a different spin on an old idea. That's not old G's. He's picking on us. That is a fact. Some people might not even recognize they're doing it. One, one of the reasons we have for our economic stagnation here is because of that lack of diversity and that spin that we put on an old idea. Now, others say, well, there's a fear. If we let these new people in, then we may lose control. Not really. Anytime you get up in the morning, you take the chance. Something good may happen. Something bad may happen. When your feet hit the floor, you could trip. You could end up walking to into the bathroom or down to the kitchen and not have a single solitary problem. So maybe the fear is holding back the opportunity. And maybe the fear is that the piece of pie that I get won't be as big as if I controlled the message. Now, this type of feeling goes on and on. I was told by one individual, NCTV 45 needs a board. Well, a board of who? The same boards that are on the other boards? creating a lack of diversity and a new spin on old ideas. I don't really believe that's an effective way to get a new idea going. Another person said, well, you know, there's, there, there's a lot of these bloggers on Facebook, news bloggers. And they're not held to the same requirement or status as maybe a, another professional news association. Well, now, hold on a second. Let's do a little research. In the first days of newspapers, they were run by individuals in their community and those individuals reported the news of the day in their town, community, city. This town had more than one newspaper. This town had more than one news source. That should not be a hindrance to being able to look at, create, and see fresh new ideas. I made a recommendation that there becomes some interpersonal communications and trust building. 
It's hard to have a whole lot of trust building when certain individuals maintain positions in two different associations in two different towns. Absolutely nobody knows what's going on. Are you for the home team? And who is the home team? Give that some thought as you stroll around the town, talk to individuals. We know who these individuals are. And excuse me, there was a bug flying around here. <laughs> we have a lot of fun here at NCTV 45. And this station and its mission statement is available. Just email us and we'll email the mission statement to you. We've printed out pamphlets, brochures. It's meant to educate and serve the community of Lawrence County in a positive manner. It doesn't dwell on negatives. It points out what's wrong and gives a solution-based answer. A lot of criticism. Thanks for watching NCTV 45. Thanks for supporting our sponsors. And thanks for caring about the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great afternoon, everybody.